If you're watching your TV, is your TV watching you? Could the government be watching you? Could some computer hacker be watching you while you watch TV in your home? Uh, it's happening, ladies and gentlemen, and it could happen. And joining us now is Kurt Baumgartner, senior security researcher at uh, Kaspersky Lab. Hello, um, uh, Kurt. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. Well, thank you for coming on. All right, explain to me, first of all, what kind of sets are at risk? I mean, we're talking about uh, Internet-friendly sets that have to be hooked up to the Internet, and, and, uh, or are we talking about any, any other kinds of TV sets? Well, um, hmm, that's an interesting question, because when you're talking about uh, technology in general, um, most of the time vulnerabilities can be found in things. So uh, I believe at Black Hat er, well, in the past couple of weeks, the Samsung sets were the ones targeted by uh, security researchers. All right, when you say Samsung TV set, so if, you, if I have a Samsung TV set, um, as far as I know, it doesn't have a camera on it. How, uh, so how would, how would they look into my living room if they, if, if they wanted to or tried to or could? Well, yeah, the, the, um, what, the, what security researchers are looking at right now are TVs that do have a webcam and, uh, and pretty much anything with a webcam and, and some sort of API or functionality to turn it on or off. Um, can probably be attacked. And uh, devices like uh, that, that provide webcams for Skype um, related to PCs, whether it was a Windows PC or something running Linux, um, has been abused in the past. So, All right, so, so, so the TV set would have to have a, a webcam, like, like, like you, you, uh, some kind of camera on it, correct? Yes. Okay, so it's not like it's not like a a big a flat screen TV that you you have and 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 you you know there's no camera on it. There's no internet ca capability. There's no compatibility. You're not hooked up to the internet. And as far as you know, there's no camera. Then you should be okay, right? Yeah, or like a, a Zenith, an, an old Zenith with a clicky round dial. Yeah, well, forget yeah. the clicky. Uh, that's one. Yeah, but but let's say a Panasonic flat screen that's on your on your wall at home. But again, you're not hooked up to the internet and. You know, you don't know that there's any camera there. I mean, I don't know that the mine came with a camera. Mine's uh, several years old. So, should uh, what I'm trying to ask you is, are there guidelines to say, well, if you don't if you don't have web friendly TV and you don't have a camera on the TV, then you're okay. But you're telling me not necessarily. Uh, I'm not telling you that. I I think if there's a webcam included with the TV or there's some sort of uh, optical device that can that can record. Um, those those sorts of features are disclosed, so uh, and they're selling points for the company. Right, really. right, okay. So those are the ones that are going to uh, be misused. Okay, and 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 for the computer, uh, everybody has a, a cam on a webcam on their computer, especially if they use Skype or whatever. So uh, yeah. so the best thing to do, or tell me how effective this is. If you have a if you have a TV that where you do have this kind of camera, or you have a webcam on your PC at home or at work wherever. Um, Cover the camera, no, with a piece of paper, with a cardboard. I mean, is that is that that sounds very uh, r rudimentary, but is that is that effective? Uh, yeah, that's effective uh, for cameras. And it, you know, in the community that I run, uh, you'll see a lot of laptops and a lot of folks with uh, nothing but a piece of tape, sort of uh, just above their laptop's screen, to cover up the camera, so that that sort of thing doesn't happen. Um, other things people have done in the past have been to turn it off in the firmware, although that's kind of even more of a problem uh, because turning it back on or the webcam's functionality back on from the firmware or the BIOS uh, requires a reboot. Um, so, yeah, a piece of tape will work. Wow. I mean, this is so scary. All right, so how prominent a problem is this? has this been? Uh, uh, do you believe... Um, that occurred that 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 people have been sitting in their living rooms and unbeknownst to them uh that pe someone's watching them and and who is doing the watching at this point are we suspecting the government or are we suspecting hackers or both huh well it's interesting and in some of the targeted campaigns i've looked at in the past like we uncovered one called Mahdi, um could have been a mix of both we don't really look at the attackers necessarily and perform that level of attribution but these guys are collecting screenshots 
and they are um, capturing videos of their victims. So and who are these? You know, guys, who are these? But you don't know who these guys are when you say these guys are capturing. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I, I don't. I mean, I, I don't perform that level of attribution. Okay. I don't, I don't sit down and go. I want to find out exactly. All right, how widespread is. is it then? Um, well, the malware itself that's been implementing that sort of functionality, where it can use your web camera, uh, has been around for years. I mean, probably, you know, oh man, I don't know, a decade. Um, so even early webcams have been misused by things called rats. And what about so the what not, about the television? Yeah, the the television is something that's new, and that's why it's it's pretty fresh. That's why it's being demonstrated at Black Hat. Um, you know, for for TVs to maintain. Uh, well, for, to have smart TVs in your living room is uh, fairly new. So um, that's, I mean, that's new, but still the misuse of the camera itself is not something that's terribly new. Um, but its presence in your living room is. It's scary. It's got to be yeah. scary. All right, listen, I appreciate the uh, the uh, the information. Kurt Baumgartner, Senior Security Researcher at uh, Kaspersky Labs. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, folks. All right, thank here, you very much. Here's some advice. Cover up your camera. Cover up when you're not using it. Cover up with a piece of tape or something. Your camera is at 